what is up crackhead nation it is your girl princess galaxy and today i want to talk to you about something that i've been seeing online for a little bit now um which is why are people barking at k-pop concerts so first let's talk about what is barking now i never called it barking until k-pop fans started calling it barking okay so barking um is basically the phenomena of you know kind of like a whoop 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 or like a, a combination between like a bark and like a whoop 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 like at a um public event whether it's like a sporting event a concert or you know some like public huge event and this is usually a phenomena that is you know for sport events um certain concerts of course like maybe like different predominantly male demographic concerts um you know maybe in other spaces it originally people say it originated from the 90s but i've been hearing whooping at like sporting events and certain types of like music concerts since i was a little kid um and mind you i'm 24 so you know i was a little kid in like the early 2000s so a lot of people have been saying this has been a trend since the 90s, um, probably even before then. And I definitely know for a fact it's not just exclusive to America, but it is really popular here for sure. So people have been noticing the last few months when uh, certain K-pop groups have been coming to the United States, they have been noticing that fans are whooping and, you know, type that type of thing. So the first instance, I actually read an article on this, I'll link it in the description, and that was my inspiration for this video, but they link to a TikTok of one of the members of TWICE, like, basically freaking out over, like, fans kind of, like, whooping, like, Woo, 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 woo. And then, like, she's trying to kind of like, I'll show you the video. But basically in the video, she's kind of like describing like, oh, this is like my nickname. And then like, they make like the sound and it's kind of like a woo woo woo. And like, you can see in her face, she's like, what the fuck is going on? This also happened at a TXT concert, which it makes sense because they have the song Cat and Dog. And, you know, we support um, furries on the channel. So, <laughs> so we already knew that was going to happen at a TXT concert. And finally, in the article, they mentioned August D. <laughs> and apparently he had um, some choice words to say when fans were doing it at his concert. And I just think it's so funny because I would never think to do this at a K-pop concert. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you're American, like, may or, like, if you've been to an event or, like, you've been to multiple events where, like, whooping has happened, when I think of, like, whooping, like, hoo, 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 I think of, like more i don't know i don't know if this is the right way to say it but i'll say masculine places you know like more masculine energy events because when i think of k-pop i think of like oh you know like we're organized we have like our light sticks we have the fan chants we have fan projects you know what i mean so for me i would never think to like hoo, 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 like at a k-pop concert like because it's a more I don't know, not delicate because we're all like screaming like we're like, ah, oh my god, my bias, you know, that's my man, you know, but like, I don't know, like, it's just the energy is so different. So I think that's why when it comes to fans being like confused about like K-pop concerts, like doing this, I mean, it makes sense because it's like, like, you would just never expect this to happen at a K-pop concert. So the next K-pop concert I go to, I'm gonna do it, okay? <laughs> probably not for that long because it probably won't feel right, but yeah. So 
that's kind of base that's basically it um i just want to know everyone's thoughts on it because it seems to be a really interesting phenomena and personally like i would never normally do that at a k-pop concert um but i look if this is going to be a new trend then that's fine but i usually associate this with like you know maybe like rap concerts you know what i mean like where the energy is like like more chaotic and like ah, you know what i mean like that kind of like unorganized vibe whereas with a k-pop concert like i said it's more like structured in a way um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know your thoughts um do you guys bark at concerts um i know it's like a big thing in my culture like as a black person you know like when you're when we're at like an event it's like it's like the the energy is just like super high and like super fun and unfiltered you know that's the kind of stuff like i've seen in my community but i want to know what you guys think have you guys heard of this before does it freak you out do you think people should stop doing it do you think people should keep doing it i don't know let me know um in the comments below and like i said check out all my social media for more and i will see you guys in the next video and if you guys like want me to talk about something particular with like k-pop or like the community or like concerts and stuff like that then let me know i'll make a video about it so yeah it's nice to see you guys again and i will see you again next week bye